Greetings, beloveds. Beloveds, when you utter the words in the name of all that is holy, understand that every instance of your existence is holy. You are the holiness and the divinity that is the breath of God. You are holiness incarnate. Every aspect of you, every molecule, every proton, every drop of blood, every piece of hair, every inch of skin in this manifestation of the flesh, it is all holy. And at the same time, there is an absolute revelation of illusion. You have come to believe, you have come to fortify and strengthen the belief that this is what is tangible and this is what is real. When you can understand that it is all indeed an extension of holiness, you can love it. There is no part of you that you would not love. There is no aspect of another that you would not embrace and make your own and say, I love this. In the same way that God loves me, in the same way that God created me with a breath, allow my breath to embrace and hold all that I have believed to be real. Allow me to know that I am that holy instant. Allow your hearts, beloveds, to be open to the love that you are. Allow yourselves to know the presence of I am. Allow yourselves to feel how deeply, how broadly and how widely you are loved for the very presence that you are. Self-love, beloveds. Self-love is what will light your pathway home. You have forgotten to love yourselves. One moment. Beloved, you have merely forgotten and all that there is for you to do is to allow yourselves to remember the very intent of your existence, the very desire that you have deep within your heart and your soul and your mind is to connect with the divinity, with the oneness that God is. Use each other as catalysts for that. This beloved one, this one who is beloved to me has been on a journey of self-love, of willingness to open her heart to me, to all beings, to allow herself to be a living example of the journey to self-mastery. Each of you are upon this journey, each of you at every moment are making choices that bring you closer and closer to love. Fling your hearts wide open for love to enter. Allow the beings that you have invited into your life to be the remembrance of the love that God has for you, the love that you have for yourself, the love that you have projected onto the world. Allow every feeling and every emotion, every thought that comes up in this journey to be one of love. Seek and look for love in all circumstances. Look for love in the rain and the snow. Look for love in the sunlight. Look for love in the wounds, the places where you feel that you have fallen down and there are scars. There is love there. There is light there. There is beauty there. Forgive each and every moment where you have fallen from grace and said, I am not worthy. That is never true, beloveds. There is no fall from grace. There is nothing but grace. There is no falling from heaven. It was all staged. It is all a game. It's all an illusion. So allow yourself to apply holiness to the illusion and to the truth. 
And when you apply love to the illusion, the illusion dissolves before your eyes into the truth. This is a key, beloveds. When you allow yourself to love everything that you have resisted, everything that you have staved off and said, I cannot experience this, I must not experience this. This is bad, this is wrong. This is shame, this is guilt, this is fear, this is anxiety. When you can embrace all of that in the warmest blanket of love and say, I accept all, each and every moment of my existence and all of the choices that I have made. And that is what you are able to see as God and as light. You grant yourself freedom. And the entire fabric of this existence unravels as if you pulled a thread in a top and it just unravels before your eyes. And all you are left with is the presence and the beauty and the radiance of the truth of you. And the truth of you is that you are as God created you. The pure and holy sons and daughters of the one true love and the one true light. So allow yourselves, beloveds, to be loved so deeply by each other. To love yourself so exquisitely, so fully, that you are surrounded by the love of God, that you are the very emanation of God's breath. God's truth and God's light. I will never tire of saying this to you. You are as God created you. I am as God created me. And you and I are one and I am with you always. It is me. It has always been me. It will always be me. And I am you. You are the one that I have always loved. I am the one that you have always loved. And together when we, when we come in union, know, be still and know that the truth of you is that you and the Father are one. I and the Father are one. We are one in God. That is all you need know. Allow yourselves, beloveds, to know this truth. Allow yourself to feel the sun upon your skin and know that it is the love of God. Allow it to permeate your heart. Allow it to permeate your mind. And allow it to permeate your soul. Call upon the Holy Spirit. Ask for your guidance of your higher self to be reminded when you forget. I love you, and I will speak with you again. Blessings to you, beloveds. Ooh.